right? Like if we were going for the ankle lock. Um, first, let's do the position, right? So as you guys know, heel hook is obviously because I'm trying to hook the heel, right? And torque it. I gotta keep his knee still. So the idea is as I'm rotating this, all the ligaments and stuff will start turning and eventually pop here, okay? So I know you see a lot of times old school, they were like just grabbing it and they would just go ahead and turn it. I'm not gonna say that's, that won't destroy the, the knee, but there's more efficient ways, right? And to avoid all that rolling. First thing is, and I think I showed you guys when we were doing the defenses, is we're not grabbing like all the way right here. Remember that was the first defense I showed you guys was to slip it out, okay? But when we're right here in that little bony area, watch the difference, try to slip it out again. It holds a little better, right? That's why I was saying we had to push and pull. He has to push, snap it down, and try to get it out, right? Second thing that we can't do is we just can't like grab it right here. It's a sloppy heel hook too. Cause he'll be able to like start like fidgeting around and get his toes out and you start losing it, right? So let's just do the motion first and practice with our partner. We're gonna grab his foot. I usually like grabbing more or less right here by the heel. And I try to get his pinky all the way high up into my armpit, okay? I grab right here, that little, like, that little mid-range of my wrist. I'm under his heel. I mean, I, I've seen people use different grips, but let's just stick with the gable one for now, okay? So again, remember what I tell you guys who's gonna get that leg lock? This guy. So uh, my finger's pointing at me. We can gable grip right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, collapse my elbow. And we're down. Right, and I don't stay far away from it. It's almost um, I actually got this from Eddie Cummings when he came out here. He was talking about how he keeps his like chin close to his wrist, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend across the mat, and it's barely had to move. So, you guys don't notice is as I'm extending, I'm our, his leg already turned. That's without a grip. So the extension alone is making his leg turn. And what you also guys didn't see is as as I was extending. I was bridging into his knee, okay? So, real quick. And again, guys, there's a lot of mechanics. I'm just going over some basic ones that we could learn real quick, right? I grab him by the heel, put his pinky toe way into my armpit, and then I grab under right on that bony area. I get my gable grip, collapse my elbow, and I'm close to my hand. My chin is close to my hand, all right? I'm a little loose here just to give him some space, all right? But if ideally I wanna be right here, and as I extend my body, I'm bridging into his, uh, his leg. You guys saw, like I barely moved like a quarter of an inch. So my hip is extending as my body is stretching. We don't want, again, I don't wanna be down here, and I don't wanna be far away trying to do this, because that's how we're gonna lose it, all right? We're trying to be efficient with it. So I grab, hide into my armpit, Scoop, gable, collapse. I have my body compressed. I stretch and extend. And we'll get our heel hook right there, okay? So let's try that out on three. One, two, three. 